Chapter 12, Section 4 in the 8th grade textbook is entitled Point-Slope Form. So we're talking about another way we can graph a line. Uh, we've already learned slope-intercept form, and we've taken a look at graphing with standard form, which is when we graph with the intercepts. This is just another method. Uh, this is another one that also doesn't require calculation. Remember, when we went to the table method, that was the one where it works for everything, but it requires calculation. This one doesn't really require any calculation when we go about graphing it. So what is point-slope form? That's the equation of a line in the form y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, where m is the slope passing through the point x1, y1. The equation of a line in the form y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, where m is the slope passing through x sub 1, y sub 1. All right, so let's go ahead and put that definition to use as we look at the first example here. It says, use the point-slope form of an equation to identify a point the line passes through and the slope of the line. And you can see they've given us y minus 7 equals 3 times x minus 4. Now, let's talk about this equation a little bit first here. Over here on the left side, connected to y, you've got all the information you have for your y point. And over here, connected to x, that's where you'll find the information for your x point. In front of the x there, this number here that happens to be 3 in this particular equation, that's always your slope. And that's the three components that you're going to have here. You're going to have an x and a y point. Again, you'll spot those because they're connected to x or they're connected to y. And they'll give you the slope. That's always going to be on the right side of the equal sign, first thing in front of the x value there. So we've got y minus 7 equals 3 times x minus 4. The first thing that should be really easy to spot is the slope here. The slope of this line is the 3, as we pointed out. And of course, we would normally write that as a fraction, so we would write that as 3 over 1. All right, now continuing on, then they want us to go ahead and find the x and the y point as we read this from the equation. What you're doing to find x and y is you're taking these chunks that have x and y in them and figuring out what values you would plug in for x and y to make those equal 0. So over here, when I look at this x point over here, it says x minus 4. What value would I plug in for x to make this thing equal 0? Well, x would have to be 4, because 4 minus 4 is 0. And that's why your x point here is 4. Over here with the y points, what would I plug in for y to make this y side equal to 0? Well, if I change this y into 7, 7 minus 7 is how I get 0. So the point here for x1 and y1 is going to be 4, 7. Remember, we always write the x first, then the y. And again, it's simply what makes the x set go to 0 and what makes the y set go to 0 for x and y. So we now know that y minus 7 equals 3 times x minus 4 is graphed by putting a dot at 4, 7. And then from there, since the slope is 3, from that point I'm going to rise 3, go up 3, and then run 1 and put my next dot and connect those points. And that's how I'll get the graph of the line. All right, let's go ahead and go on and take a look at the next example here. It's asking me to write the point-slope form of an equation with the given slope that passes through the indicated point. So the line has a slope of 4, and it passes through the point 5, comma, negative 2. All right, so... When we've got this form, the first thing that we should be able to easily figure out is what m is going to go to here. m is our slope, and the slope here they very clearly told us is 4. So I'm going to go ahead and change this point value into 4. All right. Now, what's probably going to take a little more thought is when we have to come over here and figure out what the x's and the y's are going to change into. The ones that are actually going to change into values are where it says x1 and y1. So let's start with the x. Remember, the x value, when we looked at this previous example, came from the x value here. So what I would do is I would change this into 5, this first x. And remember, my goal here is to make this go to 0. So I would say to you, what would I write next to make this set go to 0? Well, if I make this into a 5, in order to make this set go to 0, I'm going to have to write minus 5, because 5 minus 5 is 0. So that's why it says minus 5 here. When I come over here to the y's, all right, I'm going to make this y into negative 2, which is the y value I gave you here. 
and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to have to write to make this now go to zero. Well, if I just write minus two, negative two minus two makes negative four, not zero. Remember, the goal is to make this go to zero. But if I write minus negative two, that's really the same as adding two. And indeed, negative two plus two does go to zero. And that's why I'm writing plus two here. So the equation of the line, which is what they show you right here, the line that has a slope of four and passes through five negative two is y plus two equals four times x minus five. Again, spend your time on making this x set and the y set go to zero. Once you do that, you've got your equation. Figuring out the slope should be the easiest detail of all in this particular set of questions.